totally wrong? Well, there's still a lot of people out there in the country tonight who still have that yes, belief yes. about Donald Trump, man. Well, look, first of all, you know, congratulations. Both of you guys were... We're not um, there yet. <laughs> well, 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 you're further than anybody said you would be. And I, I have enough uh, uh, class, and I was raised well enough to say, uh, when you outdo... Yes, sir, thank you. When you outdo expectations, you know, good for you. But there's another side to this. People have talked about a miracle. Uh, I'm hearing about a nightmare. Uh, it's hard to be a parent tonight for a lot of us. Uh, you tell your kids, don't be a bully. You tell your kids, don't be a bigot. You tell your kids, do your homework and be prepared. And then you have this outcome and you have people putting children to bed tonight and they, they're afraid of breakfast. They're afraid of how do I explain this to my children? I have Muslim friends who are texting me tonight saying, should I leave the country? I have uh, families of immigrants that are terrified tonight. This was many things. I, 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 this was a rebellion against the elites. True, it was a complete reinvention of, of, of politics and polls, it's true. But it was also something else. We've talked about race. I mean, we've talked about everything but race tonight. We've talked about income. We've talked about class. We've talked about region. We haven't talked about race. This was a white lash. This was a white lash against a changing country. It was a white lash against a black president in part. And that's the part where the pain comes. And Donald Trump has a responsibility tonight to come out and reassure people that he is going to be the president of all the people who he insulted and offended and, and, and brushed aside. Yeah, when you say you, know, you want to take your country back, you got a lot of people who feel that we're not represented well either. But we don't want to feel that someone has been elected by throwing away some of us to appeal more deeply to others. So there, this is a, a deeply painful moment tonight. I know it's not just about race. There's more going on than that. But race is here, too. We got to talk about it. Well, and uh, whoever wins tonight, I mean, there is such polarization in this country. E e whoever wins is going to have a very hard time in convincing the other half of the country that they can be their president well, as well. That, that's what I thought I knew yesterday, that I had no idea how deep the divisions are, how, how real the pain is. And, and, and let me say, echoing Van, Kaylee 